a Thursday for Ponder This. Glad to have you on board. So glad to have you a part of us. If you're listening to me on YouTube, hit the like button if you like it. All right. That helps us out. All right. Helps us know how many people that we are not only touching, I pray that we are invoking change because that's what the word of God does. The word changes people. It builds faith in them. And so I pray that that's happening. If you're watching me on Facebook, then why don't you hit share? All right. Let someone else know what happens around here. Okay. At, at about 12 o'clock, Monday through Friday. Okay. Let's, let's go into it. But he said, blessed, that's happy and to be envied. Rather of those who hear the word of God and obey and practice it. That's from Luke 11 and 28. Here we go. Knowing the word is not enough. It's not enough. The full benefit comes through full obedience. It is more than history. It is more than poetry. It is more than prophecy and so on. It, that's the word of God, is the directive for life. The directive for life. That's what the word of God is. That is why it is so important that you pick up this book every single day of your life and read it and meditate on it. When you do that, then you will begin to develop a biblical worldview that will help you to walk through this life in peace instead of turmoil. It'll help you to be able to settle with the fact that everything is going to be all right. Okay? So grab a hold of that word of God. Put that word alive on the inside of you. Remember the front end of this. Blessed, happy to be envied are those who hear the word of God and obey and practice in it. As I said, knowing is not enough. You've got to be a doer of that word. If that word says come out from the world, then you've got to pull yourself away from that world that teaches things that you don't believe. Do things that you don't do. Go places that you would never go. You've got to separate yourself from all of that that contradicts God's word. Let me tell you something. There are times that you're going to have to take a stand for what you know is right. You've got to. We've got to. We cannot just sit on the sidelines let the world go by and end up in hell without somebody at one time or another reaching out, crying out, calling out, and letting people know there's a God that hears every word, sees every action, and demands a certain way of life out of us. It's a great creator, all right? So no, don't, don't only read the word do the word. Matter of fact, Jesus said in the closing part of the greatest sermon you'll ever hear, is he that hears and does the word is like the man that builds his house on a rock. The storms are going to come, but their house will stand. The man that hears it and doesn't do it, he's built his house on the sand. When the storms of life come rolling in, that house will be destroyed, folks. You've got to be a doer of the word and not a hearer only. Ponder that. Ponder it. I didn't write it. He did. And it's for your benefit. God love you. I love you. I speak blessings over you. I speak blessings over your children and over your home right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Goodbye. Tomorrow. I'll see you.